really tired, fibromyalgia, and then looking at chronic fatigue, like I'm just tired all the time, and achy all the time, and I felt bad for so long. Even three weeks into this, it was like a switch went off, and all of a sudden, like the whole bursting with energy. Yeah, I just felt like, oh my God, it's like I've been asleep for yeah, two years. Great. I feel so good. All my, I used to have eczema all up and down my legs all the time, gone. I have Lyme disease, and I honestly can say that I've really turned a corner since I started the paleo. After years of working on it and doing all kinds of different things, I actually feel well and feel normal almost every day. It's yeah, so wonderful. It's so good. Yeah. So I'm sticking with it. Yeah. It's like I'm a different person. I was at work and you had those ch chips, cakes, and everything on the table, and I'm just looking at it. And I didn't even want any. I wasn't not even fighting because you talked about it too. And I'm like, wow, I'm there. One day you're going to be ready to do a change in your life, and that's probably when it's going to happen. Yeah. They're trying. They're looking at my lunch and they're like, well, you only have veggies and proteins, and I'm like, yeah, you only have bread. I'm Dr. Laura Gifford. We're not going to have a debate about vegetarianism and meat eating. I think they screen people now for if you're vegetarian. The results that we have gotten in this place clinically have been astounding. We need to eat food that's real. Ditch the sugars and the grain. Fat doesn't make you fat. Fat does not cause heart disease. It literally are what you eat. So let's talk about insulin and where it comes from and what happens um, in, in the body. I'm Dr. Jillian Murphy. This is definitely not what I was taught in school. This is what I thought that food should be able to do for people. There's that old adage, you are what you eat, but you really actually are what you digest. The demonization of saturated fat actually started in the early 1900s, and it really started with Crisco. Originally, it was used to make soap and candles. And then, with the advent of electricity, all of a sudden, Crisco's not doing so well. The ultimate health combination is vegetables plus protein plus healthy fat. Cholesterol gets such a bad rap. There's no correlation between cholesterol and heart disease, and it's quite possible that having higher cholesterol can actually be good for us. All of our sex hormones come from cholesterol. Healthy poop versus not so healthy poop. Any questions about that? I'm Michelle McHelpin. 80% of our body composition is based on what we eat. Move frequently at a slow pace. Lift heavy things. Resistance training. It's not too late. You can put muscle mass on at any age. You really don't need weights or machines. Posture is really, really important. If it comes from a factory and has and has an ingredients list, it's not it's not whole food. It's not the way nature intended it. And you'd be amazed. We, we are abundant the amount of food we actually have that comes from the earth or roams the earth. That's really what we're designed to eat.